Hi there. All right. We are on the last block of this quilt. Yes. We'll be using all the fabrics, the single, um, the single, um, um, pieces. So I'm so excited about that. Whenever I do a quilt every time, when I get all the pieces into blocks, I'm like, yes, celebrate good times. Come on. <laughs> I get kind of crazy because I really like getting to that point, especially when we've been working on this for as long as we've been working on. All right, so let's get into it. This one has a little more piecing, a little more things to think about, um, a couple of seams to match. I think, no, we're just matching all of these pieces up into one um, seam. So that's a little, a little tricky. So let's get started on piecing. I am going to do one side at a time. So I am starting with the left dark wing. And what we need to do is take one of the diamonds and the right, yes, the right half square. And it's going to fit together like this. So what we're going to do is kind of line up because there's a notch and we cut a notch in the diamond, you're going to line up those notches and it's going to hang over a little bit right there. And the tip is going to hang off on this end and it's going to hang a little bit over on this end and that's okay. That's how we want it, right? We're going to have a little bit over. So we'll put those two pieces together. Whoops. Some fell on the floor. I'll have to grab those. All right, and we're just gonna sew that. And then I'm into chain piecing, you know that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this other piece. It's gonna be kind of hard to find that piece. It went down in a crevice. Okay, I'm gonna line up the notches here at the top. And it's gonna, the tip is gonna go over there at the end, but that's okay. That's what we're supposed to do. I'm gonna put the needle down so I get a little bit of a gap there. All right. And then we'll just sew down. And that is our first sew. And we'll do that for the right side and then the lights as well. We'll be doing the same thing. I might just do the right and left of the dark and let you go on to your own for the, the light. It'll get a little bit long of a video if I do all four of them with you. All right going to piece that just open up that seam because I want to keep sewing that's how that piece looks and when you're doing the opposite side you're still doing the same sews it's just in a different direction um, so you just have to, that's why we're doing it one at a time. I kind of got confused last time, last week, you know, with the tail. So I didn't want to get confused and be doing so much seam ripping with this video. All right. So there's the top and one of my pieces fell. Oh, it's not too bad. All right. There we go. So on this bottom part, we are first going to sew Let me make sure it's going the right direction. No, it fell and it's going this direction. We're going to sew the piece, the, um, the left half square to the triangle like this. And you see how those notches are kind of met, meet, meeting up. And we're just going to fold that over and meet those notches up. And again, you're going to have that's sticking over the top there. That's all right. Just match up that notch. Okay, we're making sure it's the right direction. There's only one of these colors, so I can't get them confused. <laughs> Sure, it's right over the seam. All right. A 
Okay, so we've got these pieces sewn. Just one more sew to get this row together. I just like to open those seams every time. I hope along the sew along that anything I have said and done has made it a little bit easier. I like the tips that y'all have given me because I am not a professional. I, I feel, I mean, I sew a lot for the shop for samples, but I don't think of myself as a professional sewist. All right, so this is gonna go on like that. Let me open up this one. Okay, just real quick. And we could have that over there and we'll hold that. So I like to turn it around, it's easier for me. Match up the notch, because we've cut those notches, it's a lot easier. And then make sure, yeah, this just kind of. And we are gonna sew. There we go. And, okay, just like that. Match it up. Might as well chain wherever we can, right? Okay. Oh, it's the last blocks. Oh my gosh, I just can't get over it. It's, you know, I mean, you've been there with me. I mean, some of you finished early, but 10 months, right? We're 10 months in. I think we're in the 11th month, actually. But 10 months down, and we are really getting to. So that is how the block will look. These two kind of connect together. I'm going to snip off that little piece right there that gets in the way when I'm trying to match up seams. Okay, so this is all of these coming in together, but what we're gonna do is match up that center seam right here with the outer flap of this dock dark piece. We're going to match that up and I don't have my pins over here. Why are my pins not here? Let me get those. I think last time I was pinning a lot at the cutting table. All right, I'm going to pin that just to make sure that holds. All right, and does that beautifully match up with that notch? Pretty much, pretty much. It's very, very close. Probably once we start sewing and the bulk of that pen lays out, it's a little bit. All right, I'm gonna press this one open. Ooh, exciting, exciting. In just a few minutes, we will have no more pieces. That, to me, I mean, literally, I do like a little jig when I get to that part. It's so exciting. And that fabric just sticks way up. I think what I'm gonna do is trim that. Um, I don't want that to be too long and get in the way of a nice seam. So I'm gonna trim that real quick. Sorry, I'm stepping out of film. All right, get it nice and even. So we have a good seam, hopefully. I'll do it with the other one. Kind of just trimming off that excess. Okay. Now we have a nice 
line and it's still about a quarter inch. So I think we are good. And this goes in like this. That looks so much better. Can we do it? Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, that just, that's doing much better actually. Sometimes those little trims make all the difference. And we'll see how it works out. I'm gonna do one at a time. I was gonna do that one, but I think we'll sew this one and see how it looks. Okay. The needle got stuck down in there. Probably need to move my machine over a bit. All right, here we go. That's all of those pieces just coming together. how it looks. I'm not the best at matching up these points. Some of you are really good. But wow. I definitely that definitely matched up that line. That's pretty amazing actually. Woo, that looks good. All right, that's the way we're going to do it. I haven't ironed it out, but there you go. That looks pretty good. The light, I know you see. Okay, let's do this other one. I am going to snip off that little tip. I can see where it lies. Really kind of forcing it to do where I want it to do. It worked that way the last time. Now the point on the triangle wasn't the best and I'm okay with that. That one line is straight so it kind of makes it all, to me, look good and sharp right for that one part to be extremely straight rather than to have an exact point on a triangle okay and that did the same thing so i am happy with that iron that out and now let's do the opposite side Okay, let's spread it out first. <laughs> Goes this way. So this is why you need to spread it out so you actually do the correct thing. And this one goes up here and this one goes down here like that. All right, so I'm gonna take these out, turn that around like that. First thing we're doing matching these up. And then just simple sewing. All right, let's do the next one. And you'll do this for the lights as well. Just line it up like the um, pattern says. And you'll do the same exact thing on both sides. I'm just going to go through one of the lights with you and then 
just to, you know, to go back over it one more time. And then you should have the hang of it and you can finish. Not too much to do. Five pieces, sew them together, all done. All right, so I'm gonna set that one to the side. Put that one up there. Oh, if I can get one out. Okay, this goes here. This goes here. And one of these goes here, okay? So we're gonna start with this side. Line up the notches, it hangs over just a little bit. No, not yet. Not yet. All right, we'll press this open. I am uh, planning our next sew along. I hope I can announce it at, um, at the festival and send everybody kind of an announcement. Hey, this is going to be the next one. It's not going to start until a late quarter of next year. And I don't think I'm going to get it by Houston Festival. We might do more of an announcement at QuiltCon. Like, I'll let y'all know before, you know, you'll be the first ones to know. It goes like that. It looks weird. I was like, no, that doesn't work. That's not right. Ah, it's an equilateral triangle. I can turn in all directions. That is correct. And now we're going to sew this piece to this one. It's nice that we've got the notches. Opening it up. And this time that one didn't, it's not taller like the last ones. It's kind of right in line with it. Okay, so we're going to take the one that we have finished. And it goes. goes like this. So now we're just going to match it up. And put a pin in it. And I'm going to put a pin down here too since it's going to be sewn last. I want to make sure it stays lined up. Put this one. I'm not going to put a pin in. All right, here we go. Keep this tucked down. All right. Get these little tails. Well, that one didn't match up as good. That one wasn't quite as, it matched up with that one instead of the straight line. Um, I'm gonna let it go though because I don't think I'm going to get a better seam than that. Not really. Not if I back up. And it's still matched up with one of the lines. So I'm going to let it go. You do you, though. If you want to get fussy about it, you redo that seam as much as you like. I still think it looks great. All right. That's how you do the wing. You've got a few more to do. Um, the lights. Uh, you got to do the light 
two of the right sides and two of the left sides. So you've got a few more, but we did three together, so that should, uh, that should get you going. And next week, this is it. This is it for the blocks. Next week, we actually start putting this quilt together. So the first one. All right, can't wait to see you till next week. And remember to save the um, first of January for our Sew the Pillow together. We'll do a, however long it takes, a couple hours, three hours, whatever. All right, guys, y'all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next week. Happy sewing.